SPF 30 is okay, but 50 plus is better. Whether you're sitting in the sun or you're playing sport, you should always follow the five sun safe rules. This hat's okay. This hat's better. This hat's the best. Sophie, Bree, and Alana are now going to run through our school and show you guys some of the shaded areas our school provides. In October, we conducted a presentation to the Year 7s about melanoma, and this is how it went. Welcome to the MIA Ambassadors Program. I'm Brianna, this is Alana, Amelia and Sophie. And today we'll be talking about something that is very important in our society today, melanoma. This is the average class. Now, if you were handed a yellow piece of paper at the door, can you please stand up now? One in 14 boys will get melanoma and one in 24 girls will get melanoma. That means in your year group, seven, 13 boys will get melanoma and seven girls will get melanoma. Just look around and see how many will actually get melanoma. You guys can now sit down. No, Joe. So, I would like everybody to find a mark on their arm or leg. It can be a freckle, a spot, or even just a tiny mark. Has everyone got one? There are five easy steps to find out if this spot is melanoma or just an ordinary mark. The first one is A, stands for asymmetry. This means if you were to cut it straight in half down the middle, it would be even on both sides. Is yours even on both sides? Yes. If not, this is a sign of melanoma. The second sign is B for borders. The board, are the borders jagged or smooth? If they're smooth, they're safe. C is for colours. Are the colours pinks, blues or purples or blacks? Brown. If so, this can be melanoma. D is for diameter. Is, is your mark more than 0.8 centimetres in length? If so, this is a regularly large and it is too big, so it could be melanoma. The last is E for evolving. If your mark changes in any way, shape or form, then this must be checked out because it's melanoma. The simple steps, A, B, C, D and E. Can I please get everyone to stand up? Now stay standing if you wear, if you wear a hat every time you go outside. Sit down if you don't. Stay standing if you wear a hat every time you go Congratulations if you're still standing because you're the least likely to get melanoma. And for the rest of you, this is a big problem because the melanoma risks are getting higher. Now this app is called is called well, it's a slug smart. You can download it for free from the app store. It measures the daily UV index in your area. If the UV rays are over two, then you should apply sunscreen every two to three hours. This is important because you can still get burnt on a cloudy day. If you continue to get burnt, you can still easily get melanoma because 95% of melanomas are caused by the UV light. UV rays can not only give you melanoma, but can also change the way you look. Does everyone know who this is? No. no. Well, if you don't, this is Mrs. Penae. Yeah. If she used sunscreen in 15 years from now, this is what she'll look like. But if she doesn't use sunscreen and she has weekly tanning, this is what she'll look like. <laughs> I personally don't want to look like that, and I don't think any of you would as well. No. Adam, who's up on this board? Who do you think will get melanoma? All of them. All of them. All of them. All of you can get melanoma. However, there are risk factors. If it's in your family history, you are more likely to get melanoma. If you have more moles and a weak immune system, you are also at higher risk. Oh, I'm good at for a great Unfortunately, system. boys are more at risk than girls to get melanoma. Who would have thought this? Hands up if you thought boys were more likely to get melanoma. Nah, I thought you. It's a bit of a shock, 
considering that girls more often go to the beach and lie in the sun. Should we talk about this? Can I get one volunteer to come out the front? The first sun smart rule is shade. This could be anything from a sun umbrella. You can't see. Simply standing in the shade. The second is protective clothing. Long sleeves are best. But if you're at the beach and you just want to tap on a t-shirt, that's still okay. Mm -hmm. The third is a hat. Wide brims are best, but a cap is still better than nothing. <laughs> Fourth is sun cream. The most protective sun cream are ones with the SPF level of 50 plus. The last is sunglasses. While they're not only stylish, yeah, they also protect your eyes from the sun's oh, yeah. UV rays. <laughs> <laughs> This is the sun. This is you. Hello, you. You celebrate your time here with each trip around the sun. Hip hip hooray. In your life, you want to achieve a lot of things. You have a lot to do, people to meet, and great places to see. You need a lot of trips around the sun to be all you hope to be. Unfortunately, the sun doesn't necessarily agree. Light from the sun contains ultraviolet radiation, UV. Too much UV can damage the DNA in your skin. If it's damaged too much, that's how melanoma begins. What's worse is, melanoma can get under your skin. If it gets into your bloodstream, it can spread to your bones, your lungs, your heart, or your head. And that can mean your time in the sun is over before you're done. Your time in the sun, don't cut it short. This summer, protect your skin from UV. That is scary, but these are some take home messages that we need you to remember. First of all, your sun behavior now sets up your melanoma risk for life. So be sun safe while you still can. And next, early detection saves lives, so know your skin. And you need to protect yourself using all five sun smart rules, otherwise that could be safe. <laughs> we hope we have informed you enough about this deadly condition so stay safe and use the five sun smart rules and no one should die from melanoma. <laughs>